give it my soul What is up, people? This is Influence, and I'm back with a Transformers review. And this is a Big Cannon, which is open and play. It's a company. It's not new. Uh, it's a newer third-party company, I guess. Their claim to fame is that you can play with their figures. They're very easy to transform and they look like masterpiece so that's their claim to fame so as you can see i will show you it doesn't look bad but from what i gather this is basically an upscaled uh titans returns galvatron i don't know i never had that galvatron so you can let me know in the comments if it is titans return if it looks like it um it comes in like a hybrid form and it has no bag no instructions but it's very easy to figure out so i didn't really look at nothing to figure it out i hope i got it all right but like i said there's nothing to figure out and it's very simple to transform um the looks aren't bad i can say i, I guess it's not too bad you can zoom in or bring you up on this head sculpt Head sculpt isn't bad at all, to tell you the truth. Face sculpt, I should say. Uh, it's not a bad face sculpt. That's about it as far as uh, pros. Um, I, I mean, it doesn't look bad either. It, it looks okay from afar next to my other masterpiece, but it's, it's by far not a masterpiece. So I'm going to just do comparisons now since I started in robot form. Um, get to the alt mode transformation is really simple like i said so let's get back a little bit so here are some comparisons this is takara's hot rod so you can see how they scale and like i said from afar probably on camera that's not looking terrible I think where the figure uh, falls apart is the feel of the plastic and the lightness is very, very much not masterpiece. And I wanted to compare uh, this guy. <laughs> this is Magic Square's Prime. I, I remember a while back when I, and here they go next to each other. Uh, you can see that and they're about the almost about the same size Galvatron's a little bigger I'm not sure how they should scale uh, I think Galvatron should be about the same size as Megatron um, and Megatron's a little bigger so scales about the same but I can tell you this is a very different product from the open and play I remember when I reviewed this a, a while ago people were saying or not people one one particular person and i don't fault them i don't know if they knew or if they just were uh just being devil's advocate because there was people that were bashing or they were praising this he was mad because they were praising this prime and bashing open and play now i'm not gonna bash open and play but nowhere there is no comparison between Magic Square is prime and open and play. Like the plastic does not feel the same. It the engineering is definitely not the same. The heft is not the same. Even though this is a little lighter than some people would like. It does have a little die cast, I believe, up in here maybe or somewhere. I don't know. It feels a little hefty somewhere, but it's by far not as hefty as some people would like. But this is like <laughs> nowhere near i wish i had a scale like they're nowhere near the same and, and just filling this plastic like this is like a hard plastic this is this is more of a not softer but it's just not this it's it's not open and play but i just wanted to do those comparisons to tell you the the god honest truth i will tell you right now if you want to stick around for transformation i appreciate it but 
I wouldn't recommend this. I got this on sale for thirty dollars, and uh, I, I thought this is probably the first purchase I ever made. No lie, between and that's everything: Titans Return, Cabana Wars, uh, Siege. Of course, Siege is great, but mainline everything. This is probably the most disappointing purchase I've made, and it's not. With that being said, and with it being $34, which is not much more than uh, one of the mainline figures. I mean, depending on what mainline figure you get, it is more. I mean, it's, it's less. The mainline figure is more. So, with that said, I'm going to get the... Nah, first I'll do articulation. Articulation is okay. Uh, you got... You do have ratchets. That's one thing. These ratchets, they feel like cheap ratchets, but they're strong. So that's pretty good. You have a double jointed elbow that gets you right there, but it kind of destroys the scalp. Um, you just have these things hanging out. They're not treads. This is one piece of plastic. Uh, it doesn't look good. It's, you have this stuff back here. I'm not even sure if I have this right. I didn't even look at a picture. I forget what Galvatron looks like when he's... Uh, robot mode I don't know if that sticks up or I think it does but I couldn't remember but it looks like it goes that way because there's a peg right here the pegs on so I don't know um, he does have waist swivel if you unpeg that there's a waist waist swivel uh, it gets his arm his legs out like that, that about that far uh, a little bit more and they're soft ratchets, and it's fine because this is a light piece, so it's nothing. If there's anything, there's ratchets in every, almost every joint, which is better than some third-party figures. Uh, so you got a knee that gets you almost 90 degrees, not quite 90 degrees. This stuff up here isn't. Um, and you got toe up and back, up and back, and you get a little rocker, a little toe rocker. So that's pretty good. But the where this loses at, like I was saying, uh, it loses at its hollowness. Very hollow, very and I'm sure I mean that that kept the cost down. Engineering, hollow in there. Like I said, this plastic doesn't it, it's probably the cheapest plastic I've felt. And I hate I hate doing that. Like, I mean I wanna see all companies succeed, but I don't know this I'm not sure I, I know the market for this this could be a kids market a kid that wants to collect higher-end transformers or the look of higher-end transformers and but you don't want them to break anything <laughs> so that's basically I think the market for this so we will get into transformation Pull this down, put this head in. I'm sure people who's had, uh, whatever, what did I say, Cabana Wars, um, can attest if this is the same design. Open that up. I mean, that's never gonna change. Put these, oh, the hands, I didn't show the hands. The hands are pretty nice too. The hands aren't bad. Let me show the hands real quick. They're on one pin, you know, one knuckle, so. Oh, and the, the index finger moves. So that's about on par for a lot of third party. So that's not that's not terrible. Let's put this in. You can take this off. The gun, this is his only accessory. At least the only one that I got. And it's normal accessory. It's not... This actually, this plastic feels about on par with the X9s. I don't have fans toys. I wish I did. I am looking for it. Um, so anybody have it at a reasonable price, get at me. But I, I bought this because I wanted to sub before until I could find it at a reasonable price. So, but I probably am not going to keep this in my collection. Tab this up here. Tab this up here. I try to, I try, I swear I was shooting for 10 minutes because this, 
isn't really worth. Uh, so you just get that out the way. Um, undo this so you can spin this around. Then you can put this back here like this. And it just goes there. And then, um, yeah, you, you accordion this and there's a tab. Tab it in there for the handle or the site. No, not the site. Uh, I think the, yeah, I think the site. Uh, I don't know. But let's see. The knees move out like that. Move these out like this. Um, put these back like this. And there's a button back here because these legs lock. So you push that and then you can un get it unlocked. But you need to turn it like this. And then you accordion. Um, let me see. Yeah, accordion that. Um. So on this one, again, you want to unlock. It's pretty tight. It's hard to do with one hand and put it aside and accordion this up here. You get these two together. Got them tabs there. Then this right here, oh, oh, okay. You wanna pull this out and get this together. It's a little uh, stand, like, stabilizing piece. Uh, get this situated, you pull this down, and these keep coming untabbed. But you get the treads where you need the treads at. Pull it down. Need the treads. And the camera down a little bit. And there you go. And then you just place this. It's a little hexagon. Is that hexagon? Octagon? Uh I forget. But anyway, it's one of those things and you get that in there this always this doesn't peg too well oh you can't see that huh nope cannot so this this goes up in here but it doesn't have any type of locking so even when you put it on there it's flimsy as well but I always have it down and then try to put it on but it's hard because you gotta put it on here and then yeah see it went in but then you gotta put this down here like this and now this came undone because it often does and I'm not trying to do it any better because I'm over it uh, this came apart, and that will come apart as well. So, you can kind of angle that like that. And here is Galvatron in his alt mode, cannon mode, which. Uh, yeah, pretty much fails in my book. But, is what it is. Turns into a cannon that is kind of similar to Galvatron. It looks okay. Uh, but, this is what it is. So, I'm sure you can find this anywhere, but I got it at Big Bad Toy Store, which is even worse because it's like $4 shipping. Uh, I shouldn't even play paid shipping for this. But I did. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to see what it looks like. Maybe I'll, I'll stick it next to some masterpieces. Just for the meantime. 
but I'm not sure. So if you enjoyed this review, please give me a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. And for 1990, no, I'm just playing. But uh, I get up with y'all. I I appreciate. I do appreciate you watching. If you made it this far. Hip hop, I feel. I gotta say, who am I? You might say influence, and I spit better than most in this game. Provoking thought with.